Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tamika Brown Nagan, Dean of the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study at Harvard University. I'm pleased to welcome you to the latest installment in our virtual Radcliffe discussion series exploring health equity in the time of COVID. Today's program is the first of two sessions exploring the pandemic's impact on incarcerated people and their communities. Before we begin, let me thank our co-sponsor for today's program, the Charles Hamilton Houston Institute for Race and Justice at our law school and its managing director, David Harris. I am so pleased to be in partnership with you on this important endeavor. I also want to acknowledge the members of the Radcliffe Institute Leadership Society and all our annual donors. Your generosity keeps Radcliffe programming free and open to the public and we thank you. As I mentioned at the outset of each of our webinars, this series reflects three critical elements of the Institute's mission. First, it reflects Radcliffe's commitment to examine and address pressing issues facing our society. Second, it reflects our commitment to cross-disciplinary research and our conviction that insights from across academic disciplines can advance public discourse and reveal innovative solutions to complex problems. Third, and finally, this series reflects the Institute's commitment to equity and opportunity. We know that COVID-19 is disproportionately affecting vulnerable and marginalized communities particularly communities of color. Together, we have a responsibility to examine the deficiencies that this crisis has, has revealed and exacerbated and to help chart a more equitable way forward. This series is one part of our effort. Today, we turn our attention to the people and communities affected by incarceration in the United States. American prisons and jails were crowded and susceptible to outbreaks of disease long before COVID-19. Now, despite early warnings and compassionate releases in some states, many prisons and jails have become incubators of the virus. According to the Equal Justice Initiative, seven of the ten largest outbreaks in the United States have been at correctional facilities. The New York Times, Times reports that at least 59,000 people have been, been infected with the virus in their American jails, jails and prisons, and, and due, due to a low rate of testing, that, that is almost certainly an undercount. The virus, the virus spread, spread has, has profound effects not, not only on incarcerated people themselves, but also, also their communities. communities. And, and these, these are disproportionately marginalized, marginalized communities and communities of color. color. This fact takes on special salience today, as our, as our nation struggles to reckon with long-standing racial injustice in the, in the wake of yet, of yet another brutal and senseless police killing of an African-American man. Right. This, this time, George, George Floyd. Floyd. Yeah. Yeah. To, explore to explore these vital, vital issues in greater, greater depth and to, and to help us envision solutions, we're joined, we're joined this afternoon by, by distinguished experts, experts who will work, work, who work, work directly, directly with individuals, families, families and communities impacted by, by incarceration. Oh, Gina Clayton Johnson is executive director and founder of the, of the SE Justice, Justice Group. Sophia, Sophia Elijah is a executive, executive, director, executive director of the Alliance for Families, Families for Justice. Justice. Andrea, Andrea James, James is founder, is founder of Families, Families for Justice of Healing and, and executive director of the National, National Council, Council for Incarcerated, incarcerated and, and formerly Incarcerated Women, women and Girls. girls. And, and Zach, Zach Morris, Morris is executive director of the, of the Ella, Ella Baker Center, Center for Human Rights. Right. We're also, We're also joined, joined by Delia Luna, who will moderate today's session. Delia is a clinical professor of law and deputy, and deputy director of criminal justice, justice institute at Harvard, at Harvard Law School. I am, I am so, so grateful to each of each our speakers, speakers for being with us this afternoon. afternoon. And now, and now it's, my it's my pleasure to give the floor to Delia. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you so, so very much, much um, Dean Brown Megan, for that, for that kind introduction. introduction. Um, and and uh, before, before we begin, begin today, today as, as your moderator, 
um, um, I, I want, want to give just a quick, quick overview, overview of the format of today's, today's program. program. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, very yeah. short. Yeah. First, I want to moderate the yeah. conversation yeah. 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 for about yeah. five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, after that, that, that group will respond to all questions um, 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 that you, our know, fantastic audience, audience, audience um, will um, have in the main program, 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 which we hope to wrap, to wrap up by 2 uh, uh, We encourage those of you watching, watching today to use the Q&A Q &A function, function on Zoom, on Zoom to submit your submit questions at any time uh, throughout the program, program and we'll respond to them as soon as we can. Before we actually get into the program, I really want us to do this. Um, on on behalf of, of, of over over hundred thousand people who have lost, lost their lives, their lives right? um, to um, COVID, COVID nineteen, 19. And, on and on behalf of, of um, um, Ahmad Aubrey, um, Aubrey uh, Brianna Taylor, Taylor, and George, and George Floyd, Floyd, I will. I will I'm, going I'm going to ask, to ask the, the audience, audience to, join to join me and, and the, the panelists, panelists as we as observe, we observe um, a, a moment, moment of silence, silence and, and reflection. reflection. Thank you, Thank for, you joining for joining us, us um, in, in that in moment, moment of sober reflection. reflection. Um, um, I, I only think, think uh, panelists, panelists at this, at this point that it's that very, very fitting, fitting that I start, that I start by asking you the question, question that is that on, on um, every, everyone in mind, uh, quite uh, frankly. Um, how are you doing? How are you doing? How, 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 if you can, you can respond, respond uh, uh, just briefly uh, to, to how are you, how are you doing, doing given what we've experienced, not only in the last three months, but specifically in the last two weeks. And James, thank you for stopping. You. How are you, How doing? Are you doing? doing? Thank you thank very, you very much. much. Okay, so, uh, so thank you, thank you for this opportunity. opportunity. We're always, we're always great. We're always, always makes makes us feel better. better. And our voices, our voices are included. Are included. And we're, able we're able to speak from, from okay. the experience, so, experience of directly affected, affected, affected women, women, women and girls. And girls. And so it's so been, been a difficult, difficult uh, but it's been, it's been a difficult, difficult road, road for us long before, long before uh, uh, the death of death Mr. Floyd and so many, and so other, many other black lives and, and also, also long before, long before COVID. COVID. The issue, the issue that we that deal we with in the incarceration of women and girls is one that is a difficult road. We're always grateful and uplifted when we have an opportunity to be a part of the dialogue. So that's if you feel better already. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, Ms. Clayton, Clayton Johnson? Johnson? Same question. Same question. Um, um, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's so it's good, so to, good be to be in this community, community. Um, um, seeing familiar, familiar faces. faces. Um, um, uh, you, know, my, you know, my, my professor, my Delia, and Delia and Sophia, Sophia my, my, my movement, movement family, family, Andrea, Andrea Zach. Zach. Um, this is this really a really pleasure. pleasure. Um, um, I'm feeling I'm a lot, feeling of, a lot of things in this moment. moment. I'm feeling I'm grief. Feeling grief. Um, um, energy. Energy. Focus. focus. Um, um, I think I think every day, day as, as um, um, my work my work puts me puts into me direct, direct contact, contact with um, um, black black death, death. Um, um, and and black black you know, you know caging, caging black people, black people in their bodies and body body degradation of our lives. Our lives. Um, um, there's always there's always grief there, there. there. Yeah. but there's something, there's something that, that is different, it's different when the when world, the world is, paying is paying attention and all of a sudden, all of sudden uh, 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 have it have plastered it in every single every headline, headline and, and, and it is, uh, it is uh, part, uh, of part of our collective consciousness. Um, it is kind um, of kind of unpeeled, unpeeled some layers, some layers and I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. that. Um, um, but I'm also, but I'm also feeling, feeling into, into the energy, the energy of, this of this opportunity. Um, we, um, are we are in a in moment, moment y'all. <laughs> um, a moment. moment. Um, um, there, 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 is there is a potential, potential for political potential, potential today, today, today that we have that not seen, that we did not see in 2014, that we did not see in 2016. A potential to completely reimagine the way that we think about Safety, safety and health and, health and wellness, and wellness of, our of our community. And that, and that is why I'm in this work. work. I got in I got because, because I knew that cages, that cages we're not, we're not the way. <laughs> that, harm that harm on top of harm, that harm, that punishment that on top of punishment, punishment and trauma, and trauma was not the way. And so and the, the fact that, fact that we, are we are now having conversations earnestly and authentically about transformative solutions, not the other ones, are what give me energy. The thing that gives me my focus right now, right now, is the concern, is the concern around, around that 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 window, that window of opportunity, of opportunity narrowing. narrowing? There are some there very are some real very threats, threats 
of co-optation. Co 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 um, there's um, there's some very real threat of, of going for going quick, for quick fix, fix solu um, solution, solution that, that we tried, tried and failed and failed and failed and failed and failed um, that, um, that threatened, threatened to close, to the, close window the window on that opportunity. And so that is, so a, that is, that is, that is ca um, ca um, calling upon, calling my, focus upon my focus as a strategist, as a, strategist, as, as a leader, uh, leader um, within the um, within for Black, Black Lives, Lives uh, policy, uh, policy work, work um, and within and my, own in my own organization um, to make sure um, that make this, this moment is the moment where we drop a drop on our vision as well as upon our passion and vision. Indeed, this is the time to really, really take advantage of that window. So, Mr. Norris, I have the same question for you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Leah. I appreciate, appreciate the question, question. Um, and, also and also appreciate the opportunity, the opportunity to be on such, be on an, such an esteemed panel. panel. Um, um, I am I sitting, am with, sitting a lot, with a lot, as I'm sure, as I'm all, sure of all of us are. Um, um, I am recognizing, recognizing that I have, I have my own set of privileges, set of privileges as a light-skinned light African-American African -American male, male who has a job, a job in this moment. moment. Um, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking also, also about my father, my father um, who's 69, um, 69 years old. Years old. Um, darker, um, darker skin, um, um, African American, American male, male works, works at the juvenile at the hall, juvenile hall um, cleaning, um, the, cleaning juvenile the juvenile hall, hall. and, and um, um, as we know, as we know, and we'll talk and we'll about, talk about um, um, prisons, prisons were public, were health, public health crises prior to COVID, to COVID. and, and um, he was taking, he was time, taking off, time off, um, trying to, trying to kind of avoid going, avoid back, going to back to work as long as he could. As he could. Um, then he started, um, then he started to go back to work, to work and, and um, then, um, then and I had a different fear, fear which, which was the fact that our, our sheriff, sheriff the Alameda, County Alameda County Sheriff, declared, declared a curfew, a curfew um, which thankfully has since has been rescinded. rescinded. Um, but I was, um, but thinking, I was about thinking about him going to and to from, and from thinking about, thinking about um, um, you know, you know, being worried being about, worried him, about at him at work, at work thinking, about thinking about him driving home driving from work. From work. Um, um, and, and these are these the kind, are of, the kind of, of ever ever present present um, um, threats threat of death, of death that that uh, uh, we're dealing we're with dealing with and have been and dealing, have been with, dealing with, with the founding founding of this, of this country. And so COVID so nineteen is, is an exposure, exposure to the to roots, the of, roots this of this country country in ways in that, ways that as Gina as said, Gina I, said think, I think and hope and hope and believe, and believe um, um, that we can that we can transform uh, uh, this country, this country and, and, and have it have it about some about of the values, some of the values that um, were um, proclaimed, were proclaimed in, its in its founding. Thank you for Thank that, you for that response, response, Mr. Norris, Mr. Norris. Um, um, and, and, and Sophia. Sophia um, um, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you? How are you? Well, first, well, first like my, my fellow, fellow panelists, panelists, I am very, I am thankful, very thankful to be able to, be able to participate, participate in this conversation. conversation. It's not often, not often that you have this, this collection, collection of Black, of Black Jewelers Jewelers together, together. So, I'm, so I'm glad that glad we, can, that do we this. can do this. I am, I am in the boxing, in the boxing room. room. While also well, also dealing with the reality that I was exhausted recently to COVID-19. COVID that was not, that was an, not easy an easy thing to thing navigate. To navigate. But at the, but same, at the time, same time, the grief, the grief and challenges, and challenges that, that the, the family members, family members that, that our organization, our organization Alliance for Family Justice, Justice serves, serves and the and people, the people who, are who are incarcerated, their grief, their grief and, and, and strife is, is much more, much more than mine on a personal level. Personal level. As, as everyone else everyone has else said, has the, said challenges the challenges that the people, that the people we, serve we serve face face long preceded, long preceded COVID nineteen and and the the pandemic pandemic has only has only increased, increased the demands, the demands on the work, the work that, we that we have to do. I thought that I, thought I understood, that I understood what, it what it meant to work twenty four seven three sixty five. But now I've but now I've quadrupled all of those numbers. I won't try to do the math because I'll fail. Um, but um, but within within the trenches, in the trenches around the clock, around the clock trying to trying to address um, those um, those concerns. Um, um, as happened, as happened across, across the country, the country New, York New York suspended in person, in -person visiting, visiting for, for family members back, back on March 13th. 13th. And that's and that's that our that our family members have been able to, been able to, see, able to see their loved ones for, for several, months. several months. And the reason, and I, the reason said I said that I'm in the boxing ring with several with different several opponents, opponents is, is that about, that about a week, and, week and, a and a half ago, the Department, the Department of, Corrections of Corrections and Community Supervision here in New York, in New York called DOC, called DOC announced, announced that, that they weren't going to be open visiting before the beginning of, the beginning August, of August and only if all of New York State, State 
had transitioned, had transitioned excuse me, into, into phase, phase three, of three of reopening. And at that, and time, at that time, if it reopens, if it reopens visits, will, visits be restricted will be restricted to only two hours, hours at, a time, at a time, only two only family, two members, family visiting, members visiting, and people will, and not, people be will not be allowed to touch, to touch their loved ones. Their loved ones. This, this lit a spark, lit a spark across, across the state, the state for, our for our family members, family members. And, and our organization, our organization has been besieged with emails, emails texts, text and phone calls from family members, from family around, members around the state, state expressing, expressing their, their outrage. So at the so same, at the same time, time, time when the boxing ring, I'm inspired, I'm inspired by, by the fact that, that, that our family, family members who generally, who generally are marginalized and dismissed and not heard are fired, are fired up, up and ready to fight back despite the Concerns, concerns about COVID-19 COVID and the reality, and the reality that, that the, the, the 25,000 people New in New York State died, died from COVID-19, the overwhelming, the overwhelming majority, majority of those deaths, of those deaths have, been have been experienced by Black, by black and Latinx communities. 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 Um, but, our uh, but our families are not backing, are not backing down, down, and I'm encouraged, and I'm encouraged by, that. by that. So, so I, always I always say our main goal is to transform and pain into power. And it's and it's and I agree with their tone. Totally. 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 It's a special it's a moment. Special moment. And, we have and we have to, as they say, 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 say back when I was, I was in my 20s, my 20s, 20s the time. The time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Thank much, you so much, much Elijah, Elijah, and on behalf of, on behalf of everyone, everyone the watching, and watching and listening. We just want to just want to extend our sincere, and heartfelt, heartfelt condolences condolence to you and to your, you family, your family um, on the um, loss, on the of, loss your of your sister. I remember, I remember uh, when it happened. When it happened um, uh, you're one of the strongest, strongest women I know, I know. And so, um, and so um, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm grateful uh, for you uh, and you and um, for the strength that you displayed even very, very difficult times. So let me so let me let me ask this. Uh, you, you, you say that you we say that we um, a phrase um, that you talked talk about, about that we trans uh, transform pain into power. Into power. Um, um, uh, Mr. James, Ms. I go James, back, I go to, back you. to you. What what are some of the challenges, challenges when incarcerated persons, persons uh, during this uh, during COVID nineteen, COVID -19 and, 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 and how do we uh, how do we build the larger larger term issues raised by incarceration in general? general? Well, the, well, the, the issues, the issues that, are that are most affecting incarcerated people, people um, um, uh, at, this uh, time, at this time are issues, are issues that, that they were already, they were already dealing, dealing with, with. The, the system, of, system incarceration of incarceration and the inequities and the, and the, inadequacies and the, inadequacies and the absolute, and the absolute dysfunction, dysfunction and harm that it causes, that it causes has, been has been exposed for, for really everybody, really everybody in, the in the world to see. To see. And these are and these issues, are issues that, that we have been struggling, struggling fighting, fighting um, for, um, for um, as abolition come into this space, not under the strategy of of, of, reform. of reform, we come into we come this into work, this as, work women as women who know what it's know like what it's to live like on a prison, prison bond, to know what it's know like, what it's to, like be to be separated from, from, our children, from our children, to know what, to it's, know like, what it's like uh, to, uh, to uh, see, uh, the see the generational harm and economic, and, economic and, familial and familial disruption that that has caused, that has caused because we have, we have decided, decided to use prisons, prisons and jails and pastoral systems in place of helping people and investing in communities that we have that decided, we have decided in, instead, instead to uh, pretty much, uh, pretty disappear. much disappear. And so, and so we, we come from come this, from come this, into come this into space, from space from a place of a place abolition, of abolition saying, saying that, yes, that yes, we do. We know what we it's know like, what to, it's live like to live in prison. We know the harm, know that, the harm it that it causes. Even before, Even before a crisis, a crisis a pandemic, a pandemic like COVID, like COVID, we say we that there was the pandemic of prison. And so it's very difficult to try and even begin to describe people what it's, what it's like on a, on, on a normal, on a normal regular, regular day, in a, day in a prison or at three o'clock in, in the morning to hear the cries, the, cries, um, the, um, gut the gut wrenching cries, the sobs of a woman on a prison, prison bunk near, near you, who is, who is literally, literally just devastated, just devastated because, because she has not, she has not seen, her seen her children. Many women, Many women do not know do where not their know children are. Many women, Many women are, are um, um, uh, hearing, uh, hearing news, news of harm of that's harm being caused, being caused to their children. Their children. children, children who, are who are being hurt, hurt in, other ways. in other ways. And so, and so if you've ever if had, you've that, ever had experience, that experience, you know, you how, know how, very how very difficult, difficult it is and why we work to end incarceration of women and girls. Women and girls. Now, enter now, in. Enter in. Who haven't seen their children for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. We have the abduction of family in this country that has decimated black families in particular, separated permanently Mothers from their children, from their children into, incarceration. into incarceration. And these and things, these things most, most people, don't, people don't aren't even aware, aware of. of. 
Um, and um, now you and add, now you to add it, you usher, usher into, into, into already, already that, that culture, culture of, incarceration, of incarceration, of causing, of causing further, further harm, of separating, of separating families, families, of disrupting, of disrupting communities, communities economically, economically and familial and familiarly, culturally. culturally. And, and now you now enter, you enter into, that into that already difficult, already difficult uh, uh, arena, uh, arena, this, this pandemic, pandemic called COVID-19. Which now, which now is where already, it's already almost, almost impossible, impossible, as you as know you and know and hear from families, from families uh, represented, uh, represented by, by Gina's, Gina's organization and Sophia's, Sophia's organization, organization, who already, who already struggle, struggle to see their, to see their families. families, already struggle, already struggle to, 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 travel to travel miles and miles, miles, and miles and to find, and to find the the scarce resources, resources to get babies to, get babies to, see, their to see their mothers and mothers their fathers, to scrape up the money to afford phone calls, to scrape up the money to help to purchase to purchase uh, uh, canteen, uh, canteen that's necessary. That's necessary. Yeah. all of these all of things, these things that, are, that are struggles, struggles already that people, already are, people are enduring. And now COVID-19 COVID has created, has created a, 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 even a further, further separation. separation. Our prisons Our are prisons locked down, down 23, 23 and a half and hours, hours a day, a day still. still. That, that we are afraid, we are afraid is going, is going to become, to become the new normal. normal. Visits, Visits have ceased, have ceased in prisons and jails, and jails across, across the country. The country. That, we, that are we are afraid is going, is going, to, going to become, become the new normal. normal. Uh, people, uh, people uh, uh, let out let very out short, short periods, periods of, time, of time, and they don't, and they don't have the time to make phone calls. calls and what very few people understand is that even when you are able to get a few minutes to make a phone call, for women in particular, who 85% of them are the primary care caretakers, Children, prior to prior incarceration, to incarceration they, have they have been separated from children, from children who often are often scattered, scattered amongst family members, family members or, within or within the system, the, system, the child welfare system. system. And one and now, now what's turning, what's out, turning out to be five to five seven, to minute seven minute phone, phone call, call is only is one only opportunity to figure, to figure out which one, one of those children, children or loved ones or family members you're going to actually call. And then in a prison, you can't make back-to-back phone calls. You have to, you hang, have to up hang up and wait and an extended, wait an extended period, period of time, of time before, before your pin your resets, pin resets itself, itself so that you so can, that call, you can again. call again. And so the, and so window, the window that is usually, usually 30 minutes, minutes now, now, that people that are people let out of let cells, out of cells, cells that, they're that they're sharing, sharing there's no, there's social, no distancing, social distancing, and they're having and they're to having share, to share with three other people. And to, and to scramble to shower, to, shower, to, shower, to, eat, to eat, to find resources, find resources to, get to get on a line, hope you get hope through, you the, get line through the line before, before you have to go back, into, back lock into lock up, up. And, then and then figure out how, figure out how to communicate, to communicate with, your with your family is almost, is almost it, it is, it is impossible. impossible. And so, and so um, the, um, the levels of levels complexity, of, complexity of, of the lives of, lives of, of incarcerated person are extreme. Um, Prior, to, prior a to a pandemic like COVID, like COVID and then all, and then of, all the of the things that have been, that implemented, have been implemented very ineffectively, very ineffectively to, address to address this pandemic, this pandemic um, um, has only has made only matters, matters worse. worse. Thank you so Thank much. You so that, much. Is, that, that is that is um, clearly, clearly indicative, and, and indicative of the fact that, fact that uh, uh, the, the response, response to, to this right. crisis has been, been inadequate. inadequate. And so, and so uh, Ms. Uh, Clinton Johnson, Johnson, based on, based on what, what you just what heard Ms. James, James talk, talk about, about and, and, and just how, just how, how woeful, woeful the response, the response has, been. has been, what does what does our inadequate response to the pandemic illustrate for us, and how does it relate to mass incarceration? Oh, um, I know, we don't have enough time. Every, well, every, well, well, you know, we, yeah, don't, we have don't have enough time, time but, I also, but I also, I think I'm really sitting with, sitting with um, um, what Andrea, what Andrea just, shared. just shared, because it's because real, it's real, for, real people. for people, um, and, it's, um, and it's, it's just, it hits, it hits here, here. And, and, and if you, and if you did not did feel, not into, feel that, into that as she was, as speaking, she was speaking, then you need to, check, need to in check in with where your, with heart, where your is. heart is. <laughs> and if it's and correctly, if it's correctly placed, in your placed in your body. And so for, and me, so for me, for me, for me, you know, to, you know, to answer your Delia, question, Delia, this is, this is a moment, a where, moment we where we feel in, feel in to what is to happening, what is happening to, our people, to our people and to our neighbors and to our communities and ourselves and our collective body. And then we, and need, then to we act, need to act, right? Right. We need to we need be, to be in t we need to be smart, smart about, about the, fact the fact that this is not, this is a, not moment a moment where we are where we are going to be asking, asking for accountability, for accountability back end back end accountability, accountability of of bad, bad apples, apples, right? Like right, this like this kill, 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 k
today, today, in, uh, today, today in California, in California, California there are judges, judges um, um, the judicial, the judicial council, council just rescinded, just rescinded their, order their order to direct, to direct all the judges all the across, across the, uh, the uh, state, across, state our 50 across our 50 counties, counties to put to zero put dollar zero bail, dollar into, bail effect, into effect, which means, which means that, right, that now, right now they are encouraging, they are encouraging the, incarceration the incarceration of people, of people, simply, people because simply because they do not, they have, do not the have the money to pay. To pay. Ensuring, ensuring that, that this, pandemic this pandemic will cleave, will cleave across, across socioeconomic, socioeconomic lines, lines and racial and lines. Racial lines. And what and the, what the, the reason why I say, I say you know I want to be really clear, be really clear that, like, that like these are the impacts, are the impacts of pain, the pain you know, that you just, you know, that you just heard, heard Andrea, Andrea talk about. But what feels important, feels important to, me to me is to uplift is to the fact uplift that, the there that there are people, people in positions, in positions making, these, making decisions these decisions who have who power, have power to, prevent to prevent black black death, death who right who now right now are making the wrong one. Right, right, and there are and there a are host, a host of system, of system actors, actors that we, that as, we a general, as a general body, body of, 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 of citizens, of citizens of people, of people who live who here, live here, and care, and care, need to start need to being, start being attuning, attuning, attuning ourselves, ourselves to, and hold and hold and, and, and extending, and extending accountability, accountability beyond, beyond the most egregious, the most egregious um, um, you know, you know, uh, uh, quote, bad, quote apple bad apple within, within, within the department, and look and at look the structures, at the structures that, that have, have perpetuated, perpetuated and, in fact, and encouraged, fact encouraged um, the, um, wholesale, the wholesale uh, harm, harm sickening, sickening, and death, and death um, um, of, of millions of people. Of people. I'd, also I'd also just like to say, like to you, say know, for those, you know, for those, there are a lot, there of, people a lot of people in the audience here, here and, and not everybody, not everybody I think, is as aware of what the pandemic of incarceration Incarceration is, is. I mean, just I mean, basic, just basic facts. Fact, 2.3 million, million people in cages in the United States. States. That, was, that not was, not case, was not always the case. Right? We've right? seen we've a 500% increase, increase of our incarcerated, incarcerated population, population over a 40-year period, period of time. time. And that has not, that has not in any way correlated, any way correlated with, an with an increase in crime. crime. We've seen, we have seen huge amounts huge amount of money of money federal, local, local, and state bodies go into corrections, cops, policing, and that sort of thing. From JAG programs, 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 and programs and federally, federally to how we see how we budgets, see budgets, in budgets in cities and, and counties and county completely, completely rework themselves, themselves so that over 50, 50, 60 percent of budgets are budgets going, are going to, to um, incarceration, incarceration rather than rather going, than going to, to mental health, mental health rather, than rather than going to youth education, education development programs, 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 rather than going, rather than going to, to um, uh, schools, uh, schools and parks and, parks and all the things that we know that keep us safe. And so, and so I think that, I think that you know, this, you know, this is the moment to reimagine the possibilities. possibilities. Um, and what, um, I, and want what our, I want our loved ones to know, to know right, now, right now is that we, is are, that we are fighting, a, fighting fight a fight to free, to free not, only, not them, only them, but their children. But their children. From the, from the inevitability of the, of the harm, of harm at the hands of the system that is already set, set up, ready, to go, and ready to go and rearing. To incarcerate, to incarcerate that, next body, that next body, to kill, to kill that next, that black, next person. black person. And I'd also, and like, I'd to also like to just uplift Tony McDade, who I know has yet, yet to be mentioned, but, but the, the, the death, death of black trans, black trans people, people is, is very real in its own pandemic. And as we talk about Armand Arbery, as we talk about Breonna Taylor, as we talk about George Floyd, we have to also uplift Tony McDade. Um, but this is but absolutely, this is absolutely um, um, you know, a crisis, you know, a crisis on, top on top of a crisis. Of a crisis. But it but is being it is brought being about at the point, point that I want people to leave, leave with it is being brought about by decision makers who are people, people in positions that we, we must be vigilant, um, be vigilant about holding about accountable, accountable um, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a much bigger um, sense, much bigger sense than simply demanding somebody's conviction. Conviction. Thank you so much. That is a good good point in terms of terms of the fact that this moment is bigger than just a conviction. I also thank you very much for making the point that there's so many countless other folks that you keep fighting for those who are communicating with the media or on social media and that we particularly aware of those individuals. Mr. Norris, I will ask you this question. Are there lessons that we can learn about Huddles huddles facing the emergency emergency return home, return home of, in, of in incarcerated, incarcerated people, people during this during pandemic. This pandemic. Um, um, you know, Gina, you know, Gina's, Gina's a pandemic has been a pandemic. pandemic. And, and what, what, what kind of, of, how, how should how this point of the work, the work that we need, that we need to do, to do uh, within uh, the community to which they are returning? returning. 
Right on. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I first I wanted first just wanted to, to lift up, lift and, up build and build on the wisdom, the wisdom of, of Andrea, Andrea and Gina, and, Gina and, just and just appreciate them for, them for really, really um, um, exposing, exposing, I think, the audience. I think the audience. To, me, to the me, the COVID-19, COVID-19 has been, has been about, exposure. about exposure, the murder, the murder of Tony Dade, Dade, Breonna Taylor, Taylor Maude Arbery, Maude Arbery, George Floyd. George Floyd. Should be, should an, be exposure an exposure to each and, each and every one in this nation. In this, nation. Um, um, this, nation this nation was founded, was founded in slavery, in slavery and, and, genocide. and genocide. And, and so much so of the animating, animating motto, motto of the country, of the country um, in, its um, in its founding centered around, centered this, around idea this idea that, that the that only good Indian, Indian, Indian is a dead Indian. Indian. And, and um, um, that... that isn't just, isn't just uh, 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 what we what see we today see aren't, today just, aren't just best of that, of that, of that, past. Of that past. It is a continuation, is a continuation of that past. Of that past. Um, um, here in here California, in California um, um, we have, we have uh, uh, and across, uh, and the, across country, the country really seen really this, idea this idea of small government, small government and limited and government. Limited government. But the, but the reality is, is that, 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 motto that motto should now really, now be, really understood be understood as, as the only good, the only government, good government is a deaf government. Because government. that, that effectively, effectively is what, is what um, neoliberal, neoliberal, neoconservatives, neoconservatives are saying, are saying in, their in their policies and their politics. And, their politics. and what do I, and mean, what do by I mean by that? I'm here in I'm California, here in California before, before Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan Ran, ran for president, for president and started, and started his, campaign his campaign in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia Mississippi, Mississippi, where where civil rights, civil rights leaders, leaders um, um, and activists, and activists were, murdered. were murdered. He was he the governor, was the of, governor California. of California, and we still and we feel, still the, feel legacy the legacy of his, of his um, um, governorship. governorship. Over the past Over the forty past years, each years, time, each there's, time been there's been a recession, recession everything, everything has, has been, been cut, cut except, except for, for policing, policing and, and prison. Things that things accelerate, that accelerate the, morbidity the morbidity and mortality, and mortality of black, of black and, brown and brown people. And so as and so Gina, as was, Gina lifting was lifting up, up like, like in California, in California from, 1980 from 1980 to 20, to 2000, 2000, we had 23 new prisons, new prisons and just, and just one, new one new university. Um, um, the lion's, the lion's of share of resources at the city at the level, level go to policing. Here in, Here in Alameda County, County, our county just, county just gave $300 million, million dollars to a sheriff's, to a sheriff's office, office that has retweeted, that has retweeted the alt-right, the alt-right that, has that has hosted the Oath Keepers, Keepers that, um, that is responsible, is responsible for the death of 30-plus 30 30 people, people inside of his jail, his jail in the last, in the last five, years five years alone. And so, and so what I would, what I would um, um, ask, ask folks, folks to do is do really understand that for our community, there isn't a 911. The public, the public health, health infrastructure, infrastructure is not existent, is not existent in, our in our community. It is, it is um, um, if, anything, if anything, a government, a government that is that mediated, is mediated through, the fear through the fear of punishment and through the fear, through the fear of death. And so, and so we have seen, we have seen 3,000 deaths inside, inside of California, California, prisons. California prisons. Um, um, just, just yesterday, yesterday a, woman a woman died inside, inside of the California, California Institute, Institute for Women. For women. Um, um, and, and this is, this an, is ongoing an ongoing crisis, crisis that has, that to, be has to be dealt with with, with, with systemic, systemic and structural, and structural reform. reform. Um, in, um, the 60s, in the 60s, we saw we anti-colonial struggles, struggles around the world, the world and we participated, and we participated though, uh, though many of our many ancestors, ancestors, some of those, some of those who are elders, elders participated, participated that, that in that movement, in that movement it was called, it was called the Civil Rights Movement, movement called the Freedom, called the freedom movement. movement. We are, we are still, still seeing that legacy, that legacy today, today, and as we see statues, statues around, the world, around the world come down from King Leopold to Christopher Columbus, some of the Confederate generals, we know that a transformation is needed, is needed in this country. In this country. And, so that and so that means supporting, supporting people, people as they, as they come, home. come home. That means, that means frankly, quite frankly, advocating, advocating to get them, to get home, them home now. That's some that's of the work that the work Baker, Baker Center, Center is doing, is, doing, is, doing um, is really um, is pushing, pushing, the pushing the governor to let to people, people out, of out of prison, to let young, to let young people, people out of our juvenile hall and our probation camp so that they not be ongoing public health crises and centers of public health crises, but we have an opportunity to actually heal from the harm, the harm that are, that in, the are in the past and in the present, the present, present moment. in this moment. Thank you so Thank very, you much, so very much for that answer, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Norris. Um, and so, and uh, so before, we uh, before we open up, open up the, the, the question, question session, session or before we pivot, pivot to, 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 to I'm getting I'm questions from the audience, from the audience. Uh, Mr. Uh, Peter, yeah, I, I do have a question for you. For you. Um, um, 
If you if were, you to, were have to have a discussion, a discussion with, with the director, the director of, corrections, of corrections, for example, for example if you were to have, were to have audience, audience with, with the director of corrections, of corrections in New York, in New York for, example, for example, what would you, what would say, you say or what would you advise him, him uh, uh, to, be, to, to be a response, be a response to, to the current, current uh, pandemic? Uh, pandemic? Thank you for that Thank you for question, that question, Julia. Julia. Uh, it's uh, quite it's possible, quite possible that wouldn't they wouldn't want to talk, want to, talk to, me, to me, but that would that would uh, keep uh, me from keep talking, me from talking for sure. For sure. Um, um, I might start, I might start by, start by suggesting, suggesting that we time, time to, um, to uh, polish up polish his resume, up his resume and, look for, and look for other employment, other employment because we're coming, we're coming to take that institution, that institution down. down. I, I, might I, I might inform, inform him, him that, that, or him or her, him or her, in, in New York, him, him. Well, who actually, well, I actually talk I do talk from, from time to time. I would probably, I would probably inform, inform him that, him that it's a new it's day. It's a new day. That that no longer, no longer are, are people, people in the streets, in the streets and people, and people in their living rooms hiding, hiding from, from the discussion, from the discussion about, about the, the underpinnings, underpinnings of racism, of racism in, this in this country and how, and how it's contributed, it's contributed to every, to every inequity, inequity that we experience, experience here. here. I would I certainly, would certainly focus, focus on the fact, on the fact that, that in New York, in New York and, many and many other places, People who, people who are incarcerated are not being uniformly tested for COVID-19, so that when so they, they do come, do come home, home and about 95% of the people, the people who are incarcerated, who are incarcerated do return to their, to their communities, they are coming, they are coming back, back to their communities, to their communities not, knowing not knowing whether or not they're not they're they're with the virus and whether or not, not they're going, they're going to affect their, their family members. Family members. I would, I would challenge, challenge the Department, the Department of Corrections, Corrections head, head about the about fact that, that not enough, not enough people are being are released, released in New York. In New York. Governor, Cuomo Governor Cuomo has released has not one soul um, as, um, as a result of any kind of, any passion, kind of passion tied to the fact, to the fact that, that as many people, as many people already have already acknowledged, um, the, um, the prisons, prisons are, are a petri dish for, for this pandemic. This pandemic. I, would I would inform him that it is, a new, it is day, a new day, and that and that reform, reform justice criminal justice reform, reform should be off, should the, be table. off the table. Just like just like we couldn't reform, reform slavery, slavery, you can't you can't reform, reform a racist, reform a racist criminal, criminal injustice, injustice system. system. And so that and so that they've moved they've moved to the decision makers, the decision makers have missed the opportunity to push to for reforms. Push for reforms. That, now that now it's about, it's taking, about it taking it down, overhauling, overhauling and creating, and creating a, better a better world that, that centers, centers people, people as the most as the valuable, valuable natural resource, natural resource in, any in any country. No better place, no better place to, start to start than in America, than in America where, we where we completely, completely indicated, indicated our lack, our lack of, of value people, people and their lives, and their lives particularly, the, particularly lives the lives of the, of the black, black and brown, and brown people, people in this in country. This country. I, do want I do want to say, say that, say that um, the point the that, point that Jack is that making, is making resonates really resonates with me, with me. We've, experienced we've experienced the following, the following in New York. In New York. We've had, We've had a reduction in prison population, population here from a high of, high of 72,000 to now, to under, now 40, under 40,000. So, so you would expect, you would expect such, such, a drastic such a drastic drop in the number, in the number of people, people in the prisons. You would have, you would have a, similar a similar reduction, reduction in, the number in the number of people who are working, are working in, those in those facilities. However, However those numbers, those numbers have remained almost exactly, exactly, exactly the same. Oh, barely, oh, barely a reduction, a reduction that, can that could be noticed. You find the you same, find the same thing, thing with respect to the police department throughout, throughout New, York New York State. New York has, New York enjoyed, has enjoyed a 40% drop in the crime rate, and those are numbers, those are numbers that, come that, come that come from law enforcement. However, However like we see like in, we see most, in states, most states, the budgets, the budgets for police, for police continue, continue to accelerate, to accelerate the militarization of the police as an occupying force in black and Latino communities continues unabated. So. I would, say I would say to, to the, head of, the head of corrections and to Governor, and to Governor Cuomo and to anybody, and to anybody in law enforcement, law enforcement including, including district attorneys, attorneys they should probably, they should look, probably for look for a new career because this, 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 this arena this is going to come down because the people, the people are, calling are calling for it. For it. The, the call in the, call street the street includes, includes the murders, the murders and deaths of George Floyd, George Floyd and so many others. And so many others. Um, but I'm, but I'm old enough to remember when James, James Bird and Jasper, Jasper, Jasper Texas was tied to the back of a truck, a black man, black man and dragged all, all over that, that, that community. community. And those people, and those did people who did that to him functioned with impunity for, for the longest. We're not going, We're not back, going to back, back to the times of James, of James Bird. Bird. We're going, We're going like, on a like on a rocket ship in another direction. direction. 
So they need so to they get, need to get ready. ready. Because it's a new because day. It's a new day. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, I, I, you know, you know, listening to, listening to that, to that I, it's so it's easy, so easy when, when it's unfortunate, unfortunate how, it's, how it's, there have been so many, been so of, many the of the deaths that, that it's just even just remembering, remembering Jasper. And Jasper and like, wow, that, wow did, that did happen. Uh, uh, um, um, All right. So, All right, we're, so we're, going we're going to, as hard as hard as to pivot to questions from our audience. And Ms. James, this question is question for you. You, Erin. Erin. And Erin is asking, in my state, in my state, my state, I believe, I believe she's from the state of Colorado. Colorado. The largest, the largest outbreak, outbreak um, of, as a court in the largest outbreak of COVID-19 is COVID referring, referring to as a court as one of the largest, largest correctional facilities three and men three men have died. died. She wants she to know, wants to are know any, are any recommendations, recommendations for ways to safely, safely be open, be open in, in person visiting, visiting when the virus, the virus is as active as it is, both in the facility and in the community. I am. Um, I am um, certainly. Certainly. Um, um, I think that I think the response, that the response to, that to that is to, to release, as, release many as many people as possible, as possible. Um, um, so that people, so that people can, can uh, get out, get of, that out of that prison. Uh, the, uh, the people who are, people incarcerated, who are incarcerated cannot, cannot uh, self-isolate, uh, self cannot, cannot social distance. Social distance. Mm -hmm. They cannot they isolate cannot themselves, isolate from, themselves each from each other. Um, they, um, are they are using, using harsh, harsh uh, 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 made up remedies, made up remedies such, as such as solitary confinement, confinement and even putting people, putting people in, in uh, kitchens, uh, kitchens and, and all types, all of, types spaces of spaces within prisons, within prisons that, that, that um, um, you know, you know, shouldn't be used, shouldn't be used to house people, house people anyway. anyway. Um, let alone, um, let alone during, during COVID nineteen, we have, we have corrections, corrections officers, officers that that come in and come out in and out every single every single day. Three shifts, three shifts um, um, coming in coming and out, in and going out, back, going to, their back to their families. People, people should, want should want to reduce, to reduce to this, use opportunity this opportunity to immediately, to immediately reduce, reduce the population, the population as, significantly as significantly as possible, as possible. before we, before we try, and try and figure out, figure out you know, what you know, else what to, else do, to do, do in a prison where, where there, is no, there is no, absolutely, absolutely no, opportunity. no opportunity. If I were, if incarcerated, I were incarcerated today, today um, um, I, I would not would want, not want my, children my children to be brought, to be into, brought that into that prison. I would not, I would want, not to want to expose them, them uh, to, uh, the to the prison at that time. At that time. Um, I would feel, I would very, feel uncomfortable very uncomfortable about doing about that. Doing that. Um, um, we're desperate, we're desperate while, we're while we're incarcerated always, always to see, to our, see family our family members. members. And, and the, the, I don't think, I don't that, think that they are going, they are to, going to, uh, uh, release, release the restrictions, the restrictions on visiting, on visiting um, anytime, um, anytime soon. soon. Um, I think that, um, I the, think answer that the answer and what, and what we need to, I, what I really, what I really trying to say is that we have to shift the narrative. We have, we have allowed prison officials, prison officials um, and, um, and power, brokers power brokers and legislators and, legislators and governors, and governors and, and, uh, to, uh, shape to shape the narrative, the narrative around, around what needs, what to, needs happen to happen during, during a, pandemic a pandemic and also, and also how, it how it relates, relates to, to incarceration, incarceration in general. In general. It's the, time, it's the now time now that we have that we to stand, have to stand up and shape, up and shape that narrative, that narrative for, ourselves for ourselves and begin, and to, begin make to make those demands. Those demands. We need to we get, need to people, get out people out of prison. Of prison. We need to we stop need to allowing, stop allowing this, false this false narrative, narrative of the of fear, the fear mongering, mongering that has that been, has been uh, uh, perpetrated, uh, perpetrated against, against us, us as a people, as a people that has allowed mass incarceration and incarceration in general to exist in this country and allow the continuation of what of what, what we've just, just heard lay out, lay out for us in in cities, cities and states, states across, across, the across the country. It is budget, it is budget season. season, and we have and we seen have seen this infusion, this infusion over, and over and over again, over again of, of of money, of money, millions, millions and millions, and millions of dollars. dollars. We talked, about, talked New about New York State, State here in Massachusetts, here in Massachusetts, Massachusetts where Harvard where Harvard University, University is, where, I where I live. The governor the is governor proposing forollion dollars increase to the DOC, millions of more dollars. 
dollars to build a new women's, women's prison. prison. We have one we of the smallest, smallest incarceration, incarceration population, population, population of women, of women in, the country. in the country. We, we can, can and are, and going, are to going to be a model, a model of how to end incarceration, incarceration of women and girls, and girls in, this in this country. It is absurd. It is absurd. They, they just, they just up. Up. in a stimulus, in a stimulus uh, bill, uh, bill uh, uh, I'm sorry, in a supplemental budget bill in Massachusetts, $95 million to purchase state police vehicles. They are proposing another million dollar package to build a third county jail in Suffolk County, which is the black community predominantly, and which also has the corridor within it, in my neighborhood of Roxbury, which is the most incarcerated corridor from Nubian Square to Franklin Hill Franklin Housing Development. It is outrageous that we are making proposals like this. We need to decarcerate immediately. Immediately, we need to, we need create, to create the force, the you, force showed you showed your hand. Your hand. The budget proposals, proposals are out across, across the country. The country. They all they look all to look give millions and more dollars, more dollars to police and to prisons. Into prisons. Use, that, Use money that money right now. Right now. You're, not, You're gonna not gonna get This is what this the is cities what are fighting for. Fighting not over not how, over you, how define you define defunding police. police. People on the People ground are fighting for... We'll talk about that. We'll come to the table and we'll have all of those conversations with how you want to twist and turn words and define defund or not fund or reform policing. What we want Right now, right now, and what should and not, what should stand, not in way, stand in the way as you are going to develop a long term strategy, strategy that will that ultimately will continue, continue to give money to, give to police, police to, to, retrain to retrain them. We want we the want money, the money now. now, directed into, directed our, into our community so that we can, so that we can reimagine, reimagine our, communities, our communities so that we can, so that we build, can build up our people, our people because, because Gina as said, Gina said the current, the current state, state of incarceration, of incarceration and the use of incarceration, of incarceration in, this in this country and law and enforcement in the way that, that, it, that it, is it is unfolding is just, is just sitting, sitting and waiting, and waiting for, for our children, our children and, grandbabies and grandbabies to fill the, to beds, fill the beds that we, that we fill. fill. We are not, we are not it. having it. We are not, we are going, not going for that, for any, that longer. any longer. And we are and we focusing are laser, laser sharp, sharp on the budget. And this budget season, we will not allow for the money to be allocated Police into, police into prisons, into prisons and we want and we that want money that immediately, money immediately, immediately, immediately moved into, moved our, into communities. our communities. Thank you.